Hello, my friends, and welcome to your Adventure Compass. You know, we've done a couple of unique things this past year, and some of them have been road trips. And you guys definitely responded telling me you like them because they're some of my most viewed videos. So today we're on to another road trip. This one's gonna be a little bit shorter. We're only gonna hit three locations. And our, our third location, I'll tell you right now, it's in the title. We are headed to the Turkey Roost in Kaukaulin, Michigan. And it's, uh, it's a place I'll tell you a little bit about when we get there, but they're known for turkey dinners and we're gonna have dinner there tonight. Right now, our very first stop, we're here in Fenton, Michigan, and there's actually two different things I wanna show you while we're here. So let's go take a look. Join us for this adventure. Right in downtown Fenton off of Leroy Street, there is a park and uh, this park has a uh, waterfall and uh, there's a dam and different waterways that go through this area. There's also this gazebo in the background, which often hosts weddings in the summertime. And it's kind of sandwiched between the uh, Fenton Fire Hall restaurant on this side and the Fenton Police Department on the other side. But this is the reason we are here today, or at least one of them, because there's more across the street this is known as Grateful Fred. And uh, Grateful Fred, he's a uh, immortal rock musician. He spent many years on the road, and that means that uh, this has not always been here. It was originally sculpted by Robert Pollock of Grand Ledge, Michigan. And originally this was in Tecumseh in 2013. That's where it first appeared. Uh, then it moved to Belleville in 2014 and it finally arrived here in Fenton back in 2016. And the people here liked it so much, they decided to buy Grateful Fred and make him a permanent sculpture here in the park. So let's take a quick look. You see he's all iron, really cool. He's got like a uh, really uh, cool looking skull. He's wearing that, that little uh, hat there. Got a microphone over to the side of him here, and he's got a guitar with some guitar strings on it. You can see even his hands have like a, like a skeletal feature to them. They look like they have knuckles and everything. He's he's jamming out, and he's using a washer as a pick. But uh, he's pretty cool. It looks like he's got his amp down here, and uh, apparently uh, Grateful Fred smokes because he's got uh, looks like a stogie or something down here in the ashtray. And I also noticed down here at the bottom, we have the uh, artist's signature. And then check this out. I believe, I believe that says 2011. So that looks like when it was created was back in 2011. That's kind of interesting. But this is Grateful Fred. And if you want to see him, come on down to downtown Fenton and check him out. He's pretty cool. Apparently a lot of, uh, a lot of brides and grooms that get married over at that gazebo come over here and take pictures with Grateful Fred, and I can see why. Well guys, Grateful Fred is not the only sculpture down in Fenton here. We're gonna head across the street and check something else out that's maybe a little more unique as far as the, uh, the story behind that sculpture. This is cool, don't get me wrong. I, I, I like him, he's very cool. I would have him in my yard. But across the street, we'll find something different. Let's go take a look. All right, guys, well, we've made our way over to the next sculpture. If you look at the tower across the street there, that is the uh, fire hall restaurant I was talking about. And uh, just beyond that is the park and then the police department. And uh, we're right across the street here at the Fenton Community Center. And this is what we're here to see. This is the town naming poker game in bronze. And uh, just to tell you a little bit about this, this was unveiled back in October of 2017. It's called The Game. And this depicts a poker game between William Fenton, Robert Leroy, and Benjamin Rockwell to decide who would name the town. The, uh, the town was named back in 1837. That's when this poker game took place. And I'm not quite sure which of these guys is which. Um, I don't know if it says anything on them. And uh, I really can't tell who's who here. But uh, there are three different characters here. And I can tell you something else. There's an empty chair. They agreed to put this into this specific sculpture so that you could take selfies and photos here. Now, of course, 
of the three people at this poker game, William Fenton, Robert Leroy, and Benjamin Rockwell, obviously the winner of the poker round was William Fenton, who decided to name the town after himself. And uh, then they played a couple more games, and apparently Robert Leroy got to pick the name of the road right here that you see that this sculpture is on. This is the downtown area of Fenton, and uh, he, he decided to name the road after himself. And they continued to play games until they named most of the uh, streets around here. Now, this sculpture was originally done by Oleg Kendria, a uh, Ukrainian sculptor. And uh, one of these characters, let's see, uh, Benjamin Rockwell, I believe. And, and again, I don't know who's who. It doesn't say anything on the chairs. So I'm not sure which one Benjamin Rockwell is. But they didn't have a face. They didn't uh, have any photos of Benjamin Rockwell. The other two they had photos of. So whichever one is Benjamin Rockwell, the face was actually substituted with the sculptor's face. So one of these characters here looks like the sculptor, but I couldn't tell you which one. So uh, still kind of interesting. And uh, I really do like, I do like all the stuff. They got the, uh, the liquor bottles and the, the bottle with the candle wax on it all on the table. Everybody's got their cocktails. And there's even a set of cards so you can join the game here and drink for you. So uh, maybe I should do that. Oh, and I just noticed, check this out. There's even a little cat down here checking out the game. He's like uh, looking up at me. It's pretty cool. This is a very detailed sculpture. Pretty neat. Let's, uh, let's sit down and uh, play around the cards with these guys. Well, guys, here we are. I've got my cocktail right here. My cards are laid out. And uh, it, I didn't win. <laughs> I guess that's why it's not called uh, Compass Town, right? <laughs> Now, it's, uh, it's an interesting story that they would name the town based on a poker game, and the guy named it after himself. I find that very interesting. Same with the street behind me here. Pretty cool story. Well, guys, I hope you like seeing these two sculptures here in downtown Fenton. I thought they were both interesting on different levels, one a little more historic than the other, but still both really cool, right? Um, our next stop is a little further north on the way to Cock Holland, Michigan, where the turkey roost is. And I'm afraid it might be a little bit dark when we get there. I do have a floodlight. There's not going to be any lights where we're going, but I think you'll find it very interesting. I just found out about it today, and uh, it's, it's really kind of a cool piece of American history. So let's head off to the next stop. Well, guys, we have arrived at our second stop on this road trip, and we're here in Saginaw, Michigan, and there's a reason for it. Now, unfortunately... <laughs> We, we got a lot of traffic today, which is very unusual. We got stuck in traffic earlier before we even left for this road trip. Um, I have probably spent over an hour today stuck in traffic, not moving. So I apologize that it's so late, but we made it and they're not closed. It, I was worried it was going to be uh, fenced in because we are in a cemetery. It's just about six o'clock. Uh, we got here just a few minutes ago. I do have a floodlight. Fortunately, I had one in the car, so we should be able to see this okay. And the reason we are here, I found out today, this is really cool. I think you guys are going to find this very, very interesting. Located about 100 feet or so from the entrance to the cemetery is the grave of Robert G. Heft, who was born in 1942 and died in 2009. Now, what you may or may not know about Mr. Heft is that uh, you see his handiwork every single day, just about everywhere you go. And that's because he is the one who designed our current 50 star flag. And he did that at the age of 17, believe it or not. That is just incredible to me. And uh, 17 years old, designed our current flag. And this, this, memorial this tombstone is just absolutely stunning i mean it's a it's a beautiful memorial to this man who uh who designed our current current flag the 50 star flag you can see down at the bottom it says designer of america's 50 star flag and uh, i think this is really just absolutely incredible 
the color, the red, the blue background, the stars carved into it. It's a little bit sparkly as well. This is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to pick up the flood so you guys can uh, see this a little bit better. We'll get a better shot. All right, now pointing right down onto it, this should be nice and bright and easy to see. It's like a uh, red stone with uh, this, I guess it's like a granite, but it kind of looks blue. I guess it looks blue. And then the areas that are carved in have been left rough cut, so they look white. And of course, the, uh, the rough cut areas on the red also look white. So this is just amazing, just absolutely beautiful the way this was done. And uh, Mr. Heft, I'd like to say thank you for designing a beautiful flag for our country. And guys, just in case you're wondering, this is the Holy Cross Cemetery. And uh, I will have links to all of these locations in the show description so you can see where these are all located if you want to come check them out for yourself. Well, guys, that's not all. We have one more stop on this road trip, and that is for some food. We are going to the Turkey Roost in Kaukaulin, Michigan. So let's get back on the road before they close, because they do close at 8 p.m., and we want to make sure we get there in plenty of time to get our turkey dinner. Come along. Well, guys, it took us quite a while, but we finally made it to our last destination on this road trip. We're here at the Turkey Roost in Kaukaulin, Michigan. When we got to the point where we were 12 minutes away, according to Google Maps, we came across a bad accident on the road and they detoured us. And that detour took us uh, probably about an extra 10 minutes. And then uh, we hit another detour because of a closed road and then another closed road. So our trip that was supposed to be 25 minutes took us nearly an hour to get here, but we are here and it's time to go check out the turkey roost. One of the things that nobody had uh, pointed out from my research was the fact that the turkey roost has a drive through and they are open from 11 a.m. until closing daily. Well, guys, the turkey roost originally opened in 1955, and before the owner bought it, it was a hamburger place uh, called the Hamburger Hut, I guess. And uh, they decided to turn it into a right, turkey-only restaurant. One of the reasons was to kind of streamline the menu, come up with just a few things, serve it good, serve it fast. And I've heard they're very quick, so we're going to find out on that. Now, they're on the uh, third owner now. I think they've had several owners over the years. At one point in time, they actually had turkeys out front in a uh, little pen. So uh, kind of interesting, but uh, supposed to be a very good turkey dinner, and we're going to find out. All right, guys, I want to give you a quick look at their menu. It's a very simple menu. We have the uh, turkey plate, which is what we decided to go with, the special turkey plate, which is exactly the same but larger, the half turkey plate, the hot turkey sandwich, senior turkey plate, beef plate, kids turkey plate. I think these are all different sizes. Um, the hot turkey sandwich sounded good, but I wanted to try the traditional turkey plate. That was what they're known for. They have a beef plate. If you don't like turkey, they have a hot beef sandwich here as well and uh, they also have some sandwiches both cold and hot has some uh, fish dinners here over on the side and then on the back oh i forgot to mention they have a turkey pot pie too and turkey soup on the back side they also have breakfast here in the morning and one of the things i heard you should try is this strawberry shortcake because it's served on a fresh shortcake so I think we're gonna get some of that and give it a shot all right so I heard that the food service is really fast we put our order in and I started a five-minute counter to see how long it is I, I think it's gonna be here pretty quick she said she's bringing us some rolls I expect those probably within a minute or so um, I don't know about the rest of it we'll see what happens uh, we're just past 30 seconds so we'll see wow guys look at that that is just incredible it wasn't even two minutes and here it is we both got the turkey dinner the turkey plate dinner now my daughter had hers going too she she said it was one minute and 16 seconds and uh, looks pretty good we got uh, some corn some coleslaw here some cranberry sauce the gravy I believe there's stuffing underneath the turkey here. And we also got these awesome looking homemade biscuits. So we're gonna try it out and I'll let you know what we think. All right, here we go. I got some biscuit. We'll zoom in real quick. Give you guys a little show there of what the biscuit looks like. Put some butter on it. Let's 
try it out. Mm. Good buttermilk biscuit. That's really tasty. So they also had some honey. I put some honey in there. That's so good. Mm. All right, guys. Got a little uh, turkey and some gravy and some stuffing. Let's see if we can get that to focus in on it. There we go. Look at how good that looks. Let's try this out. That's pretty good. All right, now I got some mashed potatoes and gravy. Oh yeah, these are real mashed potatoes, not instant. Mm. You can tell the difference, really good. So the veggies that came with our meal, corn. And it's, I don't think it's anything fresh, it's probably canned, but it's decent. All right, I'm gonna try out the coleslaw now. Coleslaw is pretty good. All right, and last but not least, we're gonna try out the cranberry sauce. Let's see how this is. My daughter liked this one, so we'll see. That's pretty good. I think it's fresh. Doesn't taste like your um, jelly canned stuff. Pretty good. All right, well, we decided to order the strawberry shortcake as well. Uh, it just sounded too good to pass up. And I've heard that the uh, shortcake is actually made here fresh. So let's give this a try. All right, guys, here is our strawberry shortcake. And uh, believe it or not, there's some ice cream underneath the shortcake there, there's some whipped cream and a strawberry, so let's try it out. Definitely a homemade shortcake. It's got a little crunch to it. You can tell it's fresh. That's delicious. Well, guys, our dinner here at the Turkey Roost, it was pretty decent. Uh, there was a few things we didn't care for. If you like like home cooked, old fashioned style meals, you're gonna like it. Um, some things we've just gotten used to changing up. Turkey was fine, gravy was fine. Stuffing was a little mushy. I, I like my stuffing less mushy than that. I know a lot of people like that mushy stuffing. It wasn't my thing. The uh, cranberry sauce was excellent. The mashed potatoes were like phenomenal because they were fresh mashed potatoes. Um, we ordered that strawberry shortcake. Oh my gosh, that was the star of the show right there. Excellent, absolutely excellent. I, I mean, I know it wasn't like fresh strawberries, but the shortcake was just, I mean, that with the strawberry juice soaked in, a little bit of ice cream and the whipped cream, that was really good. Definitely worth a stop. If you're in the Kaukaulin area, definitely come by and check out the Turkey Roost because you can literally come in, sit down, order your meal, and in less than two minutes, have your dinner. It's a quick stop, really, and they have a drive through too, so definitely worth checking out. I hope you guys enjoyed this little road trip we did today with three different stops. Kind of a little bit of uh, history kind of all ties in with Thanksgiving. I hope you guys got that. Uh, our first stop being the uh, local Fenton history with the uh, poker game. The second being our national flag that we see every single day. And of course, a traditional turkey dinner here at the Turkey Roost in Cock Holland. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to click on that compass so you can get subscribed and see some more great content just like this. And remember, adventure is just a short drive away.